everybody it's greg from park journey hope you're all doing well uh so last friday i was down in san diego uh to do some uh, family business and I made a quick stop at uh, SeaWorld San Diego just to take a look at what's going on in the off season, lots of uh, refurbishments and uh, construction on the new coaster. Um, so I, you know, when I say real quick visit, I mean, they were, I got there when they were closing in like 53 minutes. So I was able to um, do a quick lap around the park, um, write a couple things uh, that were actually open. Um, and then get some pictures and video of construction. Um, and then a, a friend of the site, Brian, actually sent us some uh, additional pictures of Arctic Rescue uh, when he went to the park yesterday. So um, quite, uh, you know, quite a lot to get to in this update, so I'll get right into it. Um, but before I do, make sure you click below to subscribe to our channel. As always, it is greatly appreciated. All right, so uh, starting off in the park, uh, as you can see, it was an absolutely gorgeous day here in San Diego. Um, they had some of the characters out, which they don't usually do, um, so I took a quick pick with them. Um, but we'll start off over in uh, the area over by Emperor. Um, so I did take a quick, quick ride on Emperor. Um, the only two coasters that were actually open were uh, Emperor and um, Electric Eel, so I did ride both, um, but that was it. Everything else was either close for refurbishment or close. It, again, it was a uh, I'm sorry, not even Friday. I said Friday earlier. Uh, Thursday, last Thursday. So it was, you know, Thursday and, uh, you know, early February. So uh, not really a whole lot of crowds, as you can see here. I pretty much had the park all to myself. Um, when I went to do the penguin encounter, I had it all to myself, which is always a, a great thing for me since I love penguins so much. But anyway, uh, as you can see, the sun was, was, was getting near sunset a little bit. So some nice pictures and video here of Journey to Atlantis. Um, that has been down for its off-season refurbishment. Looks like they're getting pretty close. As you can see, they had water down, uh, coming down the, the flume there. So, um, you know, just a, a nice little uh, picture there. And you can see uh, closed for its annual maintenance, which was disappointing. I was actually quite warm that day, um, and I wanted to, to take a ride. Um, here's a little bit of electric eel. Um, you can always uh, tell somebody who's been doing theme park blocking for a while when you can be walking in the opposite direction and still video a coaster doing its full circuit. Um, obviously this is a pretty co easy coaster to, uh, to film, uh, but I thought I'd have some fun with Electric Eel here. Uh, so checking out Arctic Rescue, uh, the entire wild Arctic area is closed off. You have to go in through this store here to get to the wild Arctic exhibit right now. Um, and then you can see the wall over here that's been up there for quite a while. There was a uh, hollow scream. Um, I don't know, do they call them houses or mazes at, at SeaWorld? Anyway, there was a, a hollow scream attraction <laughs> let's, let's let's leave it at that um, behind those walls last year I'm not sure um, exactly where the entrance to uh, the new coaster is going to be but I would assume you know hopefully they'll use uh, some of this exhibit and, and things like that um, for that speaking of the new coaster thanks to our friend Brian for sending us some pictures from outside the park that he took yesterday uh, that would have been Monday the 13th of February um, so you can see the, the track is pretty much completed. Uh, they are putting up fence around the track. Um, lots of uh, work to be done, uh, obviously mostly scenic testing. Um, but I mean, it's looking pretty, pretty close to, you know, um, you know I'm, I'm sure, you know, late spring, early summer um, is what we're looking at here as far as uh, the new coaster opening. I'm actually rather excited. I've, I've never ridden one of these. I haven't ridden the one at uh, SeaWorld in San Antonio. Um, so I'm actually kind of excited to, to take a ride on this uh, when it does open. And then hopefully they can get back to uh, beautifying Emperor at some point um, and not leaving it just the way that it is now. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. And as I mentioned, it was an absolutely gorgeous day in San Diego. Uh, Manta is also closed for its off-season refurbishment. Um, the Flamingos are still over behind Shipwreck Rapids um, due to the uh, bird flu. Um, they have uh, moved them over to the other side, um, but you can see here this is where the flamingos normally are. Um, doesn't look like too much. I can't, couldn't see too much work going on with Manta. I don't know if it was just down um, for the day 
um, if they're doing any kind of off-season work. Um, it did look on the front end when we get over there that some of the uh, the waterfalls and the water features were off. So I'm guessing it's probably a, a, a full refurb here. And then just down the other side of Manta, I did take a ride on the Sky Ride. It was open, so there was actually three um, rides that are open. Four, if you count the uh, the Kitty Swings, um, they were also open. But as you can see, I pretty much have the park all to myself. It did look like they were building a, a little stage or something back here, or maybe there was something for something um, already. I'm not sure, maybe it's for um, Mardi Gras. Not sure, um, but they're either building or using some kind of stage down here for something or other. I don't think we're gonna be making it back for Mardi Gras, so I'm, I'm not sure if it, if it will be for that. And we've got the aquarium here on the right that just hasn't been open uh, since before COVID, I think. Um, I think there's a couple of uh, indoor aquariums that are still um, still have not opened uh, since the parks reopened. And to nobody's surprise, Tidal Twister was closed. I don't know if it's just another reefer buyer. I did hear, I did see a couple of weeks ago that somebody mentioned that they were only loading one side of the, the trains. So, um, you know, still having issues with it. Uh, we'll see how much longer it actually lasts here at the park. They've, you know, I, I will say they, they've really, uh, they've really tried to uh, keep this thing going, um, putting in a lot of work to, to get it done with the manufacturers. So, you know, I, I wish they would have uh, put this much effort into the submarine ride, which was actually something that you know everybody could have ridden, um, versus Tidal Twister that is just not great. Um, as I mentioned, the flamingos are still back here. Um, also, Shipwreck Rapids is close for refurb, so here's a look at the flume. Completely drained. Uh, it looks like uh, you know, and again, this is the off season, uh, February. Um, this is the time of the year that you want to refurb your water rides. Even though, as I mentioned, it was about 75 degrees in San Diego uh, last Thursday when I was there. It's always fun to, to look at these uh, flume rides, these river rapids, and, and see how they actually make the rapids. Uh, you know, just little pipes and sheet metal and, you know, things like that to, to, make, the, uh, to make the actual rapids, which is, which is always kind of fun to see. And just another quick look on the other side of Shipwreck Rapids. Getting completely drained there. All the way around. The Island Traders is also closed and you can see here they've got a full wall um, up here uh, around the entire entrance to Shipwreck Rapids. I did think it was rather odd too that uh, the cafe is out also closed. Um, so I don't know if they're doing refurb on the inside of that. Um, maybe they're, uh, hopefully they're, um, you know, re remodeling the inside to make it a little more easy on crowd flow. Um, it's always one of those restaurants that doesn't have a very good uh, crowd flow as far as you know, wanting to get your food and stuff. So hopefully um, that's part of uh, part of that. It'd be nice.
and there you can see Shipwreck Grief Cafe is closed. And they're really, you know, uh, doing a lot of work on, on this uh, area of the park, so which is good to see. And then, uh, as I mentioned, uh, at the front of Manta, most of the waterfalls and water features in um, water was drained. Um, so it looks, you know, like to be a, a pretty extensive rehab here. Um, I'm sure it'll be back open, you know, before spring break, I would imagine. And you can see the, the entire store and everything up here is also closed. And just a quick look at some of the uh, Mardi Gras stuff that they've got set up at the front of the park. Uh, they've got their stage and a little grass area and uh, food booths and things like that. So um, as I mentioned, I don't think we're going to be able to make it back for Mardi Gras um, this year. Just uh, too much going on over the next you know month or two. Um, but uh, I've heard it's really good this year. So definitely check it out. Um, a little bit more of the Mardi Gras up here at the front of the park. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap it up for our SeaWorld San Diego update. Hope you enjoyed that look at the park and uh, construction on the new coaster. Um, so uh, we will be um, very busy this week. Um, so if you haven't heard, uh, we've got a nice new uh, little land opening here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Um, we will be at um, the opening or the uh, media event tomorrow night, Wednesday. Um, there's also another media event on Thursday that uh, I'll be covering for Thrill Geek. <clears throat> if you haven't heard, we're kind of doing a whole Thrill Geek Park Journey merge thing early next year. Um, so I'll be doing that for Thrill Geek on Thursday. So uh, make sure you're following them. Friday morning, I'll be back for the official, <laughs> the official grand opening uh, Friday morning. And then Monday is a holiday. Um, and finally on Monday, I get to take my wife and just kind of enjoy the day. Uh, at Super Nintendo World. We are doing the early entry. We did pay to do that. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll kind of cover how that works. But other than that, I probably won't be posting too much on Monday. Just going to kind of go in and um, enjoy it. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching again, and we'll talk to you soon.